religious leaders met together to decide on how they were going to kill Jesus. While they were talking, Judas Iscariot came and said, What would you give me if I delivered him to you? <laughs> they were delighted. They agreed to give him 30 pieces of silver. At that same time, Jesus was making plans on how he and his disciples would celebrate Passover. He said to Peter and John, Go into the city, and you'll see a man carrying a water jug. Watch carefully to see which house he enters into. Then say to the owner, The Lord says it is now his time, and he will eat the Passover in your guest room. He'll show you his upper room, and there you are to prepare the meal and make preparations for Passover. The disciples went and found everything just like the Lord said. So they prepared the meal. And that evening, Jesus and his disciples went there to celebrate Passover. During the meal, Jesus got up and took off his coat. He put a towel around his waist and poured some water into a basin. Then he started to wash the feet of his disciples. Peter was shocked and said, Lord, oh, are you about to wash my feet? Peter, you, you don't understand what I'm doing now, but someday you will. Uh, no, Lord, I, I, you're not going to wash my feet. I should be washing yours. Peter, if you don't allow me to wash your feet, then you can't be a part of what I'm doing. Oh, uh, Master, then wash me all over, my feet, my hands, my head. No, the, those who take regular baths only need to wash their feet. As soon as he was done, he sat back down at the table. He said to them, You have seen what I have done. Servant is not better than his master. If I have humbled myself for you, then you should humble yourself for one another. Soon Jesus became very sad during the meal. He said, One of you will betray me. And though it needs to be because it's been foretold in ages past, ah, oh, still it would be better for that man if he had never been born. The disciples were shocked. They, different ones asked him, Lord, is it, is it me? Am I the one? Jesus said, during the meal, I will take the bread and dip it into the broth. I will hand it to a person, and that is the, he is the one that will do it. Judas leaned over and whispered, Lord, is it me? Jesus quietly said, you know it is. And he handed him the bread dipped in broth. As soon as Judas took it, Satan entered his heart and he stood up. Jesus looked up and said, Go and do it quickly. With that, Judas left the room. The other disciples thought that Jesus was just sending him on an errand. During the meal, Jesus took the bread and he blessed it. Then he broke it and he gave it to his disciples. He said, take this and eat it. It is my body, which I am giving to you. Remember me when you eat. After the meal, he took the cup and again he blessed it. 
He gave it to the disciples and said, all of you drink this. This is my blood which will be poured out for the forgiveness of sins. I will not drink wine again until I sit with you in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus talked with them for a long time. Then he prayed for all of them. Then they sang a hymn together and they got up and went out towards the Mount of Olives.